Hi, this is George Cow, and this is a short video to show you how to use Google Forms, which is a free and powerful survey software, to use it and embed a survey on your website or even a contact form. And I think I, I'm just going to use a contact. I'm going to create a contact form just to show you a simple example of it. But your your form can be as long as involved as you want. So the first thing I do is I go to Google Drive log into drive.google.com and then I click new and then I click uh, more here and I select whoops more and then I select Google Forms okay I'm gonna, just gonna create a quick one here I'm gonna name it uh, and the name here is really for myself so just gonna say georgecow.com contact form sample okay okay now um, Okay, I named the file, but uh, this this is actually what's going to be shown on the contact form itself. So I'm just going to say uh, contact George Cow. Um, form description. This is going to be seen by people. Please fill this out to send a message to George. Okay. Okay. Question title. Uh, your name. Help text. Multi it's not a multiple choice. This is a just a normal text. Okay, and uh, I'm going to say I'm going to require that so that they have to tell me their name to contact me. And then, th and then I'll click done for this question. The next thing, I'm going to add an item. And I'm going to add your email address. Okay, your email address. And I'm going to just do text. And this time, I'm going to use advanced setting. And I'm going to do data validation so that I'm going to make sure that it is, a, uh, it is a, uh, an email address. Contains email address. Okay. Custom error check to make sure it's a valid email address. So if they enter something wrong, this will show up. I'm going to require that as well. And then I'm going to add a third one, say your message. And then I'm going to, instead of multiple choice, I'll make it a paragraph text so they can add, they can add more stuff. And I'm going to make that required as well so that they can actually send me a message. Finally, I'm going to do a confirmation page. Thanks. Um, I'll be in touch soon. George Cow, and then maybe I'll give a link to my Facebook so that they can go and visit that while they're waiting. Um, they can submit another response if they want. Definitely do not publish uh, the results because this is a private form. Allow responders to edit. Well, not really because uh, I want them to, well, um, yeah, I just want them to send the message to me. Okay, so with that, I click, um, I click on send form. Okay, now send form. Here's the tricky part. Um, I want to embed it on my website rather than share the link with people. So I'm going to click embed and then this is the, uh, you can change the width and height of the, of the, how it's embedded on your site, but I'm just going to select this. I'm going to go to my website. I'm going to just make a really quick page here. Click add standard page contact form. Um, okay. And then I'm just going to hide this cause I'm, this is just for, for a sample here. Um, no header, click save edit. And then I will simply take the embed code. This is HTML. So I'm going to just drag it onto here. I'm going to click on HTML. I'm going to paste it in, paste in the code. Remember the code that I copied here? I pasted in here doing uh, Command V for, for uh, Command V on the Mac is paste, V for Victor, or Control V on a Windows. So there it is. Uh, there's the form. and. Um, Looks like people have to scroll on this, so I'm going to make this form longer so that they don't have to scroll. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to go back here. I'm going to make it uh, longer, so I'm going to say a thousand in pixels, okay? And then I'll get again. I will embed this, uh, okay? Oh, whoops, a thousand in pixels, okay? And copy this. I'm over here. I'm going to replace the code. I'm going to replace the code. Okay, and height is a thousand. You can see here. Okay, and with that, they don't have to sc they don't have to scroll anymore to see it. I'll click publish, and then I'll show you how it actually works. Uh, okay, I'm going to go to my website. It's slash contact form, and then uh, there it is. And I'm just going to oh, uh, important before you publish it, it's important for you to get a notification if people fill something out, right? So let's go back. Let's go to click on uh, responses. This is important. Click on view responses. Okay, and then uh, what you want to do is uh, you might want to change some of this so that it's 
a little bit a little bit bigger so that it's a little bit easier for you to read later so I'm just gonna do that okay and then this is very important click on tool so uh, uh, click on tools now and click on notification rules and when when a user submits a form email right away okay and uh, that's my private e please do not email me here <laughs> this is my private email address click save and then um, that's it uh, click done okay now I've gone to here uh, I'm just gonna try this out um, .com. kind of small I'm just gonna make it a little bigger by zooming zooming in on my screen there contact your shop.com hello this is a great form thanks right <laughs> click submit okay there it is you see the the um, the thing I confirmation page right that's what they see afterwards they can submit another response they can create their this is just because you're using the free Google forms this is what Google's going to add there um, the submit another response is you know it's really optional it might be kind of weird to show that so I'm just going to unclick that so my form doesn't show that in the future okay and then basically when I go check my email there should be uh, there, there will be an email I'm not going to go look at my inbox right now but when there what I will get an email that says someone submitted a form I can come in here and take a look at my form um, and there it is you see there's the form so anyway I hope that helps uh, this is a great I mean Google Forms is a very powerful uh, self, uh, survey tool online free survey tool you can add all kinds of things you can add multiple choice you can add a grid to you know have people score their what they think about various things I mean you could do a page break you can do an image or a video a section header it's really uh, very full-featured survey software so just play around with it and if you have any questions you can comment below um, I'm not always able to respond right away but comment below maybe someone else watching this can also help out uh, but anyway enjoy this feel free to share this forward and help other people be able to easily create online software or, or online surveys for their audience and embed that on their website so all right um, until the next video be well